The Update PO Line's Information Advanced job now changes the PO Line type even when the inventory type or continuity are different. For example, you can now change the PO Line type from Physical One Time to Electronic One Time, regardless of the actual inventory, or from Electronic Collection One Time to Electronic Collection Subscription, regardless of the actual continuity. This can help with alignment for statistical purposes and for correcting errors in the daily work. To change the PO line type for a set of PO lines, go to Admin, Run a Job. Select the Update PO Lines Information Advanced job and click Next. Select a set of PO lines to change, Next. In the Task Parameters page, select PO line type and then select the PO line type that you would like to assign to all the PO lines in the set, for example, Electronic Collection Subscription. Since the PO line type can now be changed regardless of the inventory type, you need to specify how to handle the inventory in cases where it does not match the new type. Under Handling Existing Inventory, select How to Handle PO line inventory in case of a mismatch. You can detach existing inventory from the PO line, or you can delete it. If you selected Delete, you may also select the option Detach Inventory when it can't be deleted. This will enable the changing of the PO line type even in cases of inventory that can't be deleted. Otherwise, those PO lines will be skipped. When existing inventory is deleted or detached, Alma will automatically create new inventory of the matching type. To override this, you may select Assign Inventory Manually, and then inventory won't be automatically created and you can add it manually. Note that for closed PO lines, inventory is only detached and not deleted. After selecting the parameters, click Next. Review the job details. In our case, we're running it now. Submit. Confirm. The job is now running and will attempt to update the PO line type. PO lines that are under evaluation or have an invoice will be skipped. PO lines that do have their type change will be removed from their PO and their item will be in review. If there are no remaining PO lines in that PO, the PO is deleted. If the changed PO line was already sent but the inventory not yet received, a cancellation message is sent to the vendor, but only if the workflow calls for it. So, for example, if the acquisition method is GIFT, no cancellation letter is sent. When the job is done, it will appear in the History tab, where you can review the job report. You can see which PO lines were processed and which were skipped, in our case because the PO lines already had an invoice. Thanks for joining!